We're talking over our shoulders That's and it. running up. You're too quick for us. Well, how are you all? Well, good. good. See, they're fine. You know, Welcome to Attitude. We are continuing our week-long series, 40-something and holding. That's right. All week we're talking about um, the 40s and uh, what that means and how it affects different women. Physically, and, financially, yeah, spiritually. You are 46. Yes. What have you learned from this week? I've learned a lot of things, actually. I, I suppose the, the thing that I've learned probably more than anything else is that I, I seem to be on the right track. It's kind of nice to be around other ladies who are sharing the same fears and, and traumas, but also sharing all the joys of being our age. And there are many of them. And I guess that's what we're really trying to say today uh, and, and all week, is that it's great to be 40-something. Yeah. It really is. And, and from until whenever. I think yeah. so. It's, it's a different different time for women, and uh, I think we can all uh, all get part of that. I, I really do. We have a lady on today that I I certainly feels that way. She's just turned 40. Her name is Phyllis Hyman. And Fabulous. She's spectacular. You'll, you'll right. know what I mean when you meet her. And then we have beginning a new career at 40 yeah. or over, which is a pretty frightening prospect for most people. And uh, we have two gals on who have done that very successfully. And to talk to all of us about what that means to just begin a career. Can you imagine? Go and back this is, to school? Yeah. I guess it's kind of a second career because a housewife and mother is certainly a career, but a career in the business. Like in the, yeah, outside sense. of the home. Yeah. 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 And then we have the 7th Isaac Avenue's fabulous Isaac Mizrahi, who has yeah. oh. just hit 7th Avenue by storm. So fast. And he has all his fall, evening, everything, 89 here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very exciting show. Yeah. You know, being 46, <clears throat> I can attest to the fact that there are times that I do look in the mirror and I wonder if I'm aging. <clears throat> and I look very closely to see if all those little lines are creeping in. Well, today our first guest is here to help us look our best at 40-something or any age. She started her business at age 17 with $400 that she saved from babysitting. Now she has, ready for this, 500 skin care salons through the United States and Europe. Amazing. Today she's here to tell us some of her favorite beauty secrets. Please welcome 40-something and so glamorous, Adrienne Arpel. Down. Well, you're 40 something. 48 something. 48. 48. You talk about it, there's no problem with you, is it? Oh, you know, I, I, it doesn't even occur to no, me. No, I know. Age. I feel that uh, I'm a grandmother. I have a, a four month old grandchild, and it's just so fun. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know why women today that are doing interesting, fun things and, 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 and have a feeling of self, what difference could chronological age Well, uh, my feeling has always been that, I mean, Thank God you're there. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Would, would you want to make that? Wait thing. a minute. Would you, you know? want to do it all over again? No, not and everybody me. Not gets me. there. You know, so I've never understood that either, that you couldn't tell your age. It seems sort of silly to me. I think Very that's silly. kind of an interesting thing you just said, because I, many people assume, I think, that most of us would like to be young again. Yeah. Now, I'm 33. I would never go back a day. Yeah. I'm looking oh. forward to the future. Most of the 40-something women that we've spoken to today wouldn't go back to yeah, their 20s like or 30s. They you know, they I'm, I'm married to the same guy, 29 years. My daughter's 26 years old. Start all over again. You know how long it took me to train him? <laughs> My God, ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, it's a, isn't that true? And I certainly didn't train him for somebody else yeah, either. He has yeah. like a, a breadcrumb trail right to the jewelry <laughs> store. I mean, this guy's <laughs> terrific. <laughs> that takes years. They don't learn easy. Tell us about beauty concerns for women over 40. Well, when you're over 40, it's terribly important to understand you do need to do little things. Like it's what, Adrian? Like what? Well, first of all, camouflage makeup. You got to learn how to wear makeup. Women that have gray hair cannot leave their face gray. They need to wear makeup. Also, things like these little tricks that women can make at home for pennies. Little things like everyone gets lines around the mouth. Yeah. Everyone gets puffy eyes. There's you wake up in the morning and you know the morning of your thirty fifth birthday you wake up and your eyes blow up. They never blew up before. That you're, morning you're they also blow up blind. And your that tummy morning. comes out. 
<laughs> your tummy comes out and you're blind. Right. You're blind. It's oh, the bat. It's like that. That, that morning, that morning. Bir that morning. birthday? Okay. Well, you got the, two years to yeah, be really. fabulous. You understand that. Don't call me. <laughs> I don't want to know. Oh, no! <laughs> but the truth really is, is there are so many things that women can do today. There's so many things in the world. There are so many things that make a woman look young. And when we talk about young, we no longer mean white, white pant leather boots and a mini skirt. Yeah. We mean healthy, with it today. Do you also temporary. think that a lot of that is inside? What? It's the attitude. Absolutely. I hate, you know, I feel like I'm promoting the show. But I think a lot of, of, of the women that we like, that we admire, that are in their 40s or 50s or 60s, are women who have such a young spirit. Oh, I think it's absolutely inside. If you're not happy inside, I don't think you can look young outside. I, I, I think, think it's so. really, really related. Yeah. And I think that all really has to do with a strong feeling of self. Yeah. And after, I also think after you get to 40, you, you sort of make peace with yourself, too. You begin to say, hey, look, so I'm not so perfect. So the rear end's supposed to be higher. This is supposed to be there. Uh, you know, gravity pulled it down on everyone else, too. They just got a better bra. <laughs> or a better doctor, one or the other. Yes. I was just going to ask you about how you feel about cosmetic surgery. I would do anything that I could afford and doesn't hurt too much, and I'm looking forward to any and everything, I, any help I can get from any and anyone want to write in and tell me I'm listening. That's I think funny. that there is, I think that, why not? Yeah. What good is a what fabulous good? sable coat on, on, on a, a beat-up face if you could fix it cheaper than the coat? <laughs> That's a good point. That's a very good point. Do you think, think men, too much. Do you think <laughs> men relate differently to women that are in their 40s and 50s? Well, there is no question that men still love young things. I can't believe for a minute that mm -hmm. men don't prefer women that are young when they start out. But I think once they start chatting, once they start talking, Boy, there's nothing like experience, and there's nothing like having been around long enough when to say it and when to shut up, and I think that takes a lot of learning on a woman's end, too. And I really think if something happened to me, darling, nothing's going to happen to me 29 years, <laughs> but if something would happen to me, I really don't think my husband would look for a, oh, I, I should only live not to regret this, but... A young, young thing. I think he would want someone who um, was young enough, but had had been around long enough that um, they had some of the answers or some of the peace and quiet that we all begin to to have with time. You really do begin to settle uh, in the sense, settle down. I don't know. Perfection yes. is no longer anything as important well, as settle in. Settle in is. Better. I think yeah. you start to. I think you stop worrying about what everybody is thinking. I think, I think that's it. part of it. I, I think, think you just say, oh, I just can't. Forget it. I'm is that I don't all? Get, oh, you I know think that's I mean? very true. I so think you, get, you, you, get more, you get calmer about things. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Every Everything kind of just learning to, to somehow take the focus off yourself yeah. a bit. Uh, and take care of yourself. It doesn't mean that, but to start concentrating on things perhaps a little yeah. more important than a few wrinkles around yeah. your eyes. You, you know what I think happens? I think when you're younger, everyone, we, we live in such an artificial world. Everyone wants to be Miss America. When you get older, you say, oh, what happened to that old, what happened to that Miss America? Where is she today? <laughs> She's not so and, great. And the point is that you begin to see if you weren't born with the right amount of chromosomes to be Miss America, you better figure out what's what yours you're and be. what your yeah. slot is. And when you get to your 40s, you got the slot, hopefully. Yeah. And this is going to help us. This is going to help us. Okay. Adrian is going to show us a, a few little <clears throat> tricks of beauty to help us feel better about ourselves. What this, do you got? What do you have now? This is a very interesting combination. It's pumice pumice, mm. ground pumice that you buy in any, in any drug store, any health food store, and we mixed it with a cream, any cold cream you have. What you will make is a very gentle abrasive for those little lines, oh, the little around, lines. those little it's, vertical for lips. lines around the mouth, lips. And you want to know if you need this? A quarter of a teaspoon of whey with a half of a teaspoon of any kind of night cream, of course this happens to be Adrian. Or and it could be anything. It could, it could be, be anything. anyone. And makes enough for two nights. Oh. And you then you put it, it on your face and it's a live yeah. protein. Okay. 
Now mine. Wait, 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 wait. Before oh, you go you on. You can't it's, save it. Yes. Don't put it, it into bad. your cream. Only into the amount you're using. Only in the days. jar that you're using. Do not pour it into the uh, oh, night cream itself. I there's time itself. for this. Can I just do this real quick? Um, you fill an ice cube tray with uh, half mineral water, half freshener or astringent, and two pinches of al uh, alum. Alum, alum, which you can get at any drugstore, and you freeze it with little sticks like you have for popsicles. You put this on your eyes. This really does Isn't work. Isn't this great? alum is for pickling? It can actually take down puffiness. Tighten, tightens your, it your pores around your eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it doesn't work. smell bad. It'll you leave pickle it in your you. freezer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you put it in your freezer. You know those days when you, you cried all night because your husband said something you didn't like. Right. Yeah. Those days. Okay. Now we can get this on our Thank tip you. sheet. Adrian, you're great. Don't worry, we did it a little fast. Adrian, so strong. Can I come meet you? We'll do an over Next, the lady who really hits the high notes. Stay tuned. This is so great.